Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. The best live cards of Euro and Copa America 2024 are far gone from being in packs, right? Those Path to Glory and Greats of the Game icons and heroes specifically. But today, we get a chance at packing some of them again from one specific SBC. I want to talk about that, and of course, fodder. Is it going to go up even further? Because prices on that side of the market are flying, and prices could go down in other areas as today's a really big day for the euros and especially the cards that could upgrade or cease to upgrade based off of today's game so if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's cover yesterday's content because that SBC that we were hoping to see did indeed drop and we got to talk about that but let's start with the player species because we had not one but two yesterday of course we had the continuation of the make your mark live cards being dropped with the steven eustachio i'm definitely butchering the name here he is a canadian right back guys this card looks honestly sorry not right back center mid this card looks very very good Four playstyle pluses finesse pinged pass technical and tiki taka for a center mid with these stats and those playstyle pluses and a five-star weak foot, honestly, a crazy, crazy card. Probably not a lot of people are going to go out and do this because, you know, the links are not the best. I don't know what the upgrade potential here is for him either. But the card stats and the playstyle pluses look really, really good. And for only, what is it, 40,000 coins to do, it is literally just one squad. It is an 86-rated squad. That's a nice, fun SPC card for sure. So you could uh, be rooting for Canada for some upgrades there and just honestly for a cracked card, maybe a plus two here or there. Honestly, a plus one. You have to score two goals to get two assists, right? But that's honestly a good card. We like fun SPCs like that that are cheap. That's a good one. We also had an American Striker flashback SPC yesterday for Kristen Press. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Both of the uh, player SPCs yesterday were just kind of cheaper more fun if it pertains to you type of player SBC. This is a nice American striker card. Her card looks solid. Power shot, quick step, first touch. Probably very good inside of the box with the high finishing stats as well. And 64,000 coins. So I think most people are going to look at these SBCs and say, all right, maybe this Canadian guy we're going to do, you, you stay Quio. I'm probably butchering that. I'm going to have to work on that pronunciation. And then probably a lot of people are wanting to pass on press. But not bad SBCs. Honestly, fun, cheap cards. But this is where the hype is, right? It is inside the upgrade section, guys, for the 84 times 10. And it was even cheaper than I originally thought it was going to be. It's an 84-rated squad with a team of the season or a team of the week. Now, I'm out of team of the weeks, as a lot of you guys and a lot of people in this game probably are, evident because of the fodder prices going up. Tots and team of the week cards are flying. I think Team of the Weeks went from like 32,000 coins and they're now like 42k and Team of the Season cards are like 50,000 coins. It's crazy. Now, I have not opened any of these 8410s. This is my first one. We're getting a promo. It's going to uh Hegerberg? Yeah, okay. Hegerberg double walkout. Come on. Be um be Musa. I have not packed Musa yet. The USA live card. That'd be sick. I was literally just going to ask how the promo pack weight was for you guys. Who do we just pack? Mario. Okay, we have Mario, which actually 94 pace. All right, that's kind of a fodder card, but you know what? I haven't packed a promo card in so long. Wow. And all those. Wow. Okay, that's a really good pack. All right, you're going to have to let me know in the comments if that is abnormal or if that's how all these have been because. Um, you know, the pack weight for Make Your Mark Team 1 was not very good. Team 2 didn't seem very good for the first day. But regardless, whether you get a pack like this or if you get mostly 84s, which I'm sure my next 84 times 10 were, will be, um, it is very good for the crafting on this game. This brings the fodder grind back. You get the high rates like this. You can go complete player SBCs like Darwin, or you can go and complete you know, exchanges and keep the menu craft going, but this brings the grind back to the menus so much better, and it gives you a lot more fodder. That is fantastic. Three times a day, I got to get the other two done for sure, um, and I maybe need to go do some exchanges to get some 81 plus picks, to get some 82s, 3s, and 4s. That's kind of the problem now, right? The last piece of the puzzle to really help the menu grind come back is a new player pick SBC. The 82 plus, if it comes back like from two weeks ago, that would be great because then the menu grind would be fully back with an easy player pick that doesn't require a lot of commons. And then you have the 84 times 10 to give you higher rated and that middle tier fodder, which like 84s and 5s are required everywhere and on this game. So we love that. It's like almost back. And the 84 times 10 is huge. It deserves all the hype, to be honest. I mean, on Footbin, it's got like, oh, look at all these updates, uh, upvotes. I mean, 54,000 coins. It's amazing. 
And of course, it is very good. Like the 84s that I just packed in that duplicate 84 Carrasco, the best part about it is that's going straight back into the SBC. So you can kind of keep holding that high tier fodder, put it in SBCs or exchanges, and then you can just keep rinsing through these. Make sure you get another team of the week or a team of the season and you're good to go, right? But that is why the team of the week and team of the season cards are going up so much is because people want to do this and all the other SBCs to require them. Again, let me just double check this. These prices are probably just going to go up a little bit more. 42k for those and team of the seasons i think i just checked this and it was like 51,000 coins as well which is mad honestly they should not be this expensive ea should be supplying them but you know how it is they've been expensive like this multiple times before and ea do nothing about it so w from the 84 times 10 nothing else to say there 85 times 7 the other upgrade pack this is expected we mentioned this in yesterday's video as well the normal saturday drop for this a team of the season in an 85 rated squad so a little bit more for this but it's a higher guaranteed pack and it is only a one-time non-repeatable giving you i guess your best shot or our best shot at packing some of the biggest and best promo cards so again not a bad pack there decent price w really good day yesterday for the upgrade packs 84 times 10 awesome 85 7 is great so yeah let me know in the comments how the weight was for you on both of these but i'm excited to get the rest of those open throughout the whole week that's gonna really be a complete game changer from how it was last week to this week now let's go to evolutions and talk about some action going on in here because i got some thoughts about this to be completely honest some good thoughts i like what EA's doing here stars and stripes of course being from the usa i'm a big fan of this evolution i have no idea who i'm going to put into it to be honest no clue um i'm not putting in this fedeta even though he does look pretty good because i've got a jesus fedeta in my club that is better than this because he's 5'5 and he has 99 shooting so this card's close and i like the place without pluses for sure um but yeah i guess the thing with these evos are they're very specific to you know what where you are what uh nation you're from like if you don't care about a usa evo card if it's from your favorite club or if you're not from the usa then it's kind of like okay whatever or maybe if you're not dutch right that's the thing with these evolutions where it's like okay ea I get what you're doing here and I like it because it allows you to upgrade players from that specific nation and all the hype right now, of course, is all nation specific for the Euros and for the Copa America. But EA need to take this a step further. If they're giving us ev evolutions like this and probably going to drop more nation specific evos, then they need to give us an incentive to use these cards with objectives. And the way that I think they should do that, and I don't know if you guys agree with this or not, I was just thinking about this after I saw the evos is... If they dropped a Rivals bonus objective every single week where it was if you play Division Rivals matches or play a certain number, win a certain number, basically it's extra packs and extra stuff for playing Division Rivals with a one nation squad. Starting 11, maybe you could do the bench as well, but at least a starting 11, one nation. Like right now, I was thinking, I'm trying to build out the best USA team that I can build for me personally, right? But then I'm like, wait, when would I use that squad? Foot champs? You would get toasted, right? We have the whole One Nation thing going on there with Argentina and England. You know, you get toasted with those squads. Division rivals? You'd probably get toasted too, but at least you would come up against more people using more of those fun types of squads. We don't need another cup or a friendly mode. And using it in rivals, I think, would probably be the next most interesting slash fun thing while you're still working towards rewards for them to do. So that's my idea for EA, if they're listening at all. Drop, it doesn't even have to be crazy packs. Just something a little bit extra incentive-wise to use some of these evos that we have created that are nation specific if they're going to keep going through with you know maybe there's going to be in england or belgium or you know there's going to be a brazil or argentina evo that are nation specific kind of like the usa and the netherlands one yesterday so i have no problems with it at all i like these evos they're free they're very easy to get done but i think ea can take it a step further and make it really good instead of just good we also had the 650k pack which i can't quite get to now because i have a card i'm unassigned carrasco 650k pack dropped yesterday and i don't know that's something else i gotta hear from you guys because i was not on the game a ton yesterday i did not open that pack i will probably open it later on during the week just for a chance but uh i don't know what the promo weight is like on that i guarantee you it's not as good as it was during ptg but uh it is back and hopefully it's better than last week because last week the 650k was really 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 bad so that's kind of the content from yesterday now honestly i was shocked to not see ea they've been super consistent tweeting out 
the upgrades. And I just checked Twitter a little bit ago and I didn't see anything, but the players are upgraded, guys. We did have the daily upgrades from the last games from match day two or round two of the group stages for the Euros. Lukaku, Trossard, of course, with that Belgium victory are getting the plus ones. Nedved got a plus one as well. Stat boost there for him. And then the rest of the upgrades for Joao Neves, Teate, Miku Datsa, and Cherny were just the chemistry. Now, I want to show you Lukaku's upgrade that he got as well um, with finally Belgium being able to get three points on the board. That group, of course, is looking crazy with every single nation on three points so far. It's going to come down to the wire. But this Lukaku, I mean, he looked cracked before. But uh, even right now, that 899 is kind of cheap looking. Should I buy that? And it's only a 40k undercut. Probably not worth it. Take a look at this upgrade that they gave Lukaku. EA must have been feeling bad for him and all the unluckiness that he's been getting. So they gave him a juicy upgrade. He got a plus two acceleration, three agility, two balance, two ball control, two interceptions, three stamina, two long shots, and then plus one everywhere else. That's like the biggest in terms of an in-game stat upgrade for any of these Path to Glory cards because most of the other ones that we've been seeing are just simple plus ones straight up and down with a couple plus twos. But we got a multiple plus twos and even a plus three couple plus threes inside of this upgrade so gg's the ea for releasing a pretty sizable lukaku upgrade but other than that the upgrades were just you know pretty average unless you have nedved you want to go try him out he looks a little bit better now and uh yeah i guess we would have some copa america upgrades coming soon early today as well mexico jamaica is literally in the final extra time right now as i'm checking the score it's still one nil mexico and there is a bit of a movement in price here for a copa america path to glory hincapi is down bad because ecuador was winning but they ended up losing 2-1 to venezuela as they were down on 10 men after a really crazy red card situation with enter valencia um but this card is not getting an upgrade because, of course, they lost. So he's down in price. He was like 320,000 coins. He's now 265. But other than that, like there weren't a ton of crazy price drop-offs yesterday from the teams that were played that were alive. Now, that could change today. And I want to talk about that here in a second because all of the games, we kind of transition out of the schedule that we've seen recently into a new and a different schedule with the timing of the games, of course, so that there can't be any collusion or match fixing, right? Because all of the uh, teams that are playing in the same group to see out the last day, uh, the last match day, they play at the same time. So both games that are happening today for the Euros are happening at the same time. And that's going to mean a lot of football happening at once and a lot of potential price movements. We'll talk about that in a sec. Let's talk about what else is coming today, right? Guys, these Path to Glory and Greats of the Game cards, specifically the Greats of the Game today is what I want to hone in on. We might have another chance of packing them today because last week EA gave us some insight on what might be happening this week, right? Last week we had the 90 plus hero player pick that included the Greats of the Game cards. Now, I didn't do any of these because again, hero picks really behind the curve for me and the weight on these seem to be pretty heavy towards the Fantasy and the Golasso cards, but there was a chance at the greats of the game live hero cards and this was a pretty cheap hero player pick now today should be the icon player pick right because we get hero pick one week icon pick the next so having a chance at packing some of these cards again with the hero pick last week too there's like what four or five heroes and there's a whole team of icons there's a lot more hype with an icon player pick today that includes these cards because they're still live, or at least most of them, right? Balak, he got all of his upgrades, but who wouldn't, you know, take a Balak right now from this player pick? Exactly. 700,000 coins, four playstyle pluses. That would be a super duper sick card to, to get. So there's genuinely going to be hype for an icon player pick today for the first time in ages because I think EA is going to add these cards into the player pool. Maybe they're going to make it more expensive. Honestly, if the player pick for the icon today is more expensive than normal, if it's like 200,000 coins plus, that's probably a good thing because that would mean that the weight on these cards would be better. So I don't know what other icons are going to include in this, if it's going to be Golasso and the greats of the game, or if they're going to try to sprinkle in still like team of the years and like future stars and foot birthday icons, they probably will. But hopefully the lesser number of promo icons inside of this pick the better for the drop rate on these cards but again with the hype of these being in you could get a Rivaldo, you could get a dog leash you could get a haji right so many of these cards are very expensive and they're cracked so 
there's actually a decent amount of hype right there today. That could be an icon pick that is worth trying. Again, it's not leaked to my knowledge that we're going to have these cards in it. I'm just going based off of what they did last week with the hero pick. I think they're going to do the same thing with the icon pick as well. So maybe get some fodder stocked up and ready, especially on that middle to high tier. The uh, store packs that they dropped yesterday have absolutely demolished 88s. Take a look at 88s. They were 9.5K yesterday at content. They're now 8,000 coins. This is an investment opportunity 100% in my opinion on those cards. What about 87s? Was it that 88 plus pack? I mean, even 87s are down 7.4K and then Marjic is now 6.4. What about 89s real quick? 18,000 coins for those. Yesterday, if we zoom in on the graph, they went from 20K down to 18, 17,000 coins as well. So fodder on the kind of the higher tier, like the middle of the high tier, is down bad. I think the 88s are probably going to be a good club stock, though. If we get a good icon player pick that actually has hype, we have an 84 times 10 that would make it more craftable as well for more people. Hey, it could be another good opportunity to invest in some of that fodder. That also could mean team of the week and team of the season cards could keep going up in price as well if they are in demand. So kind of want to mention fodder there. I mean, are these cards going to drop if they get released in an icon player pick? Unless the weight is really good, probably not. Um, I don't own any of these cards besides a petite right now at the moment, but I can't imagine that the weight's going to be so good on these inside of a new icon player pick that it makes those prices drop. But there's, again, hype for that because those cards are packable once again from an icon player pick, which should be pretty good. Now, other content to expect today. We're going back to this same graphic when it comes to the player SBCs. We still have Sobosly, which is so weird because Hungary played today. So what, are EA going to drop a Sobosly SBC two hours before Hungary play? And if they lose, then they're out and there will be obviously no more upgrades for Sobosly? Or are they going to drop the Sobosly SBC? I don't know. I'm really confused. Maybe Sobosly isn't going to happen because it did not drop yesterday. But hey, who knows? It's only a leak. We have no confirmation 100% just yet. But we do have a lot of other Copa America cards. There's going to be a player SBC today, depending on who it is. Or we don't know who it is, to be honest. Could be Gabriel, could be Montiel, could be any of these other cards like Damari Gray or Pacho, or it could be Sobo Sly. So we're just watching out for another player SBC. We didn't have a showdown yesterday, um, but maybe there's going to be a showdown for one of the third day of group stage matches for one of the groups like if they did a showdown for uh the belgium group with romania ukraine i forget the last matchups for that group but you know that would be pretty fun uh, we do have a ukraine one actually already so probably not another one but you know the the showdowns those sorts of sbcs a player sbc for a live card definitely coming today at some point as well and then uh i think actually besides that there might not be a whole lot of other content maybe an evo but probably not what i want to talk about for the remainder of the video is path to glories and the potential price drops i know these cards have been up like crazy they're gonna drop at some point right and i'm worried about some of them today actually having some big drop-offs right like let's talk about this scenario for a second we're talking about these greats of the game icons right you know dog leash right great card here five million coins one of the most cracked cards in this game right now one of the the best strikers in this game they're playing hungry today you know think about this for a second if hungry end up winning three points for hungry you look at the group then Scotland would not be getting on to the next round of the Euros. They would be done and they would be out. And what would happen to this Dog Leash card? Dog Leash would get absolutely destroyed. He would probably drop like 2 million coins or at least a million, right? Because he would be lo no longer live and upgrading for Scotland in the Euros. I think today is the beginning of the next couple of days in this game where some of the live cards are going to take absolute crazy price drops to the chin if their nation loses. That's the big ticket, though. It's got to be a loss and knocking them out of the tournament to make these cards kind of rendered useless um, in their upgrade sense, which will in turn hurt their price a lot. So I think some of that's already factored in for some of the prices that you see on some of these players, right? Like people are expecting, uh, I think, Scotland to win tomorrow for that specific game. People are also expecting Germany to win tomorrow. You know, you have other PTG cards. Here's the flip side, right? You have a team that could lose... And you could have prices drop a ton, but you also could have a team like Germany pull it off, again, continue their insane form, and you could have this Fulkrug and Undav going to four playstyle pluses. Like, that's the kind of wide range of possibility that we have today, because if Germany win against Switzerland and they go three for three in the Euros, that is the second upgrade 
eclipsed uh, right here. That would mean they would be the first cards to get four playstyle pluses from Euro Path to Glories, not icons, the regular cards from hitting three wins in the Euro. And I don't know what playstyle plus they're going to get full crook. Now we got to worry about the win first before we start thinking about that. But by tomorrow night and we doing our daily video, you watch the same video tomorrow, right? We might have some of these German cards with four playstyle pluses, which would be crazy so that is the one thing i did want to mention it could make full crew and some of those other cards go up in price but i think you know when you take a look at the upgrade path it's these first two upgrades that are kind of the most hyped because a lot a lot of players have the potential to hit them but now winning the quarterfinal winning the semifinal it's going to start to dwindle from here on out even though germany have looked really really good this would start to be this the time in my opinion to start selling some of these ptg cards if you invested from the beginning you don't want to get stuck remember the bruno uh gima reich situation a couple of years ago right during the world cup you don't want to get stuck with a card that goes you know you bought this full krug for 50k he went to 250 right and then he goes back down to a hundred thousand coins because germany lose right maybe next week or in something like that you know this is the start of the time where you say all right i'm making big coins on some of these you know who knows what else content is coming as well just time to start thinking about taking the cash on a few of those. I did start to sell a few of my flips yesterday, like the Marco bought for 420, sold for 500. The Joao Neves, I made like 10K on, wasn't really worth it. I didn't time to sell the most uh, perfect manner. I did sell Benton cores. I bought these all at uh, 760, sold them for pretty solid profits there. And I still have a few cards. I still have middle stats. So like, I believe in Germany today. I think they're going to do it. And um, basically, if they keep a clean sheet, middle stats go into a 94. And I still have it to Julian Alvarez as well as the Kyle Walker from last night. So, yeah, that's kind of the situation of the account right now in terms of the coins. So what are we at? 4.8 million. Uh, so that's that would be 5.8. This would take us to like still just below seven. I think I think somewhere chilling around eight million coins is where we're still at on the account. So I will rip a 650k pack this week. I'll make that promise to you right now uh, because we've been making some really good coins in these live cards. But at the same time, you got to be careful with them. And I think that's the message I'm trying to put across today is some of these cards are probably going to go down soon depending on the wins and the losses that happen now for these make your mark team two cards i'm not buying too many of them honestly uh, again the best opportunities for these cards to like shoot up in price is a certain player playing in a game scores a goal towards their upgrade or they're keeping a clean sheet so the price kind of rises that's kind of the best thing with these now is a lot of them have gotten their chemistry boost already um, but yeah guys that's why the ptgs are clear they're better to trade with but again think about selling some of those because the prices are just getting absolutely outrageous the paul's extinct davies is 1.8 alvarez what a buy that was back up to 802,000 coins militao is five mil bro that's crazy and again i could even be looking at this hiccupy card right now and saying this might be a good buy in the panic it absolutely could be but if we get gabrielle today you know what or pacho probably don't want to be buying one of those because pacho or gabrielle could hurt that hiccupy price so I'm kind of taking it easy when it comes to the market right now, but of course, you can make good coins trading on Fridays, Saturdays with the new promo cards like we have been doing, and then also fodder. Like we mentioned, fodder would be a good place to make coins today if you're really trying to get that coin balance up. Hopefully, today EA drop a banger of a player SBC and a banger of an icon player pick. Best of luck with the 84 times 10s. Best of luck with the crafting and the menus, and I will see you guys maybe for a stream today. We'll see, but definitely for a video tomorrow night as well. So if you guys enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you do. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan with Accountancy Gear. Peace out.